Hello YouTube. Man has always been interested in space and the moon as the closest object has become the subject of very close attention. On June 30, 1964, as part of NASA's Ranger program, the first close-up images of the moon were obtained and the information was collected to prepare for the human flight to the moon. Since that time, the number of photographs has steadily grown, and with them, the number of lunar mysteries has grown too. Um, you, you know through uh, recent history that professionals and amateurs find a lot of interesting things on the moon. Well, the Soviet lunar rover photographed strange artifacts during its mission on the surface of the moon, or I should say missions. One of the artifacts is very similar to the wheels connected um, to a lunar jumper, so to say, or hopper. But this picture, I cannot confirm authenticity. It's picture number one. However, I want to present to you and then go on. Uh, Luna Hood uh, <clears throat> Project E8 is a series of Soviet remotely operated self-propelled planetary rovers for exploration of the moon. Luna Hood 1 <clears throat> was the first automatic Luna Hood. It was delivered to the surface of the moon on November 17, 1970 by the Soviet Interplanetary Station Luna 17. A launch on November 10, 1970, Luna Hood 2 is the second automatic Luna Hood or moon rover. It was delivered to the surface of the moon in January of 1973 uh, by the Soviet Interplanetary Station Luna 21, E8, number 204, and it was launched in January 1973. The second picture is very interesting because it shows the strange object above the horizon on the moon, and it was also taken by Luna Hot 2. And I found this on the Russian websites. I want to read you something from the recently declassified uh, Russian report. It's from 2018 about the Soviet moon rovers. Um, it's the classified report on the activities of the Luna Hot 2 on the surface of the moon. <clears throat> it says 45 years ago, a Soviet self propelled vehicle began to travel around our natural satellite at an unprecedented speed. Luna Hot 2 was delivered to the moon by the Soviet automatic station Luna 21, created at the S.A. Lavochkin Design Bureau. Starting from Earth on January 8, 1973, it made a soft landing on our natural satellite on January 16, 1973, at half past one in the morning, Moscow time, on the eastern shore of the Sea of Clarity in the Lemonier Crater. At the beginning of the fifth morning, four hours, 14 minutes, Luna Hot 2, which weighed more than 800 kilograms, moved to the surface of the moon. And when on a long and dusty journey, lasting four months, five lunar days, until May 10, 1973. In total, the device traveled a record 42 kilometers, transmitting images and a television image uh, to the Earth. So, let's summarize. Luna Hood 2 was launched in the 8EL number 204 program from Earth on January 8, 1973, aboard the Luna 21 automatic station and landed on January, it says 15, on a flat terrain in the Lemonia crater, the Gulf of the Sea of Clarity. It worked for a little over four lunar days 
wa it walked or moved 39.1 kilometers on the moon and stopped working on May 10, 1973 due to overheating. <clears throat> the corporation Russian Space Systems celebrated the anniversary of the landing of the eight-wheeled vehicle by posting a widely available report that specialists of the Scientific Research Institute of Instrument Engineering compiled about a year after Luna Ho 2 stopped communicating. In the report, they analyzed the problems that arose in order to avoid them when creating new devices or apparatuses for exploration of the moon and other planets. But Alas, <clears throat> no more rovers left the Earth from the Soviet Union. However, it may be interesting for the curious to learn the details of the Luna Ho 2 control to understand the intricacies of the unique same communication system, SEIM, that's the name, with which um, they were the first in the world to transmit information towards the moon via an optical laser channel. It's no secret that Luna Hot 2 navigation system immediately failed. The crew, so to say, had to navigate by the sun, and as they say, looking around. And the position of the body was determined by the load on the wheels. When they refer to the crew, they mean the ground control on Earth. Once the device or apparatus almost fell off, once, so at one time, this apparatus almost fell off a cliff when it stopped only after the third command from the ground control. Such overlays most likely ruined the Luna Hot 1. It overheated and stopped communicating. In the declassified report, experts reported that the temperature inside the Luna Hot 2 increased to 47 degrees but they did not explain why this happened. It is believed that while maneuvering, the apparatus scooped up the soil with a lid, got stuck trying to get out and overstressed. Strange enough is this. The same report says that the equipment that was installed on the lunar rover was heated much more during the tests, but it kept working. So Luna Hot 2 became the fastest of the Soviet lunar rovers. It could accelerate up to 340 meters per hour. The predecessor, Luna Hot 1, moved at a speed of 140 meters per hour. Luna Hot 2 landed about 150 kilometers from the American Apollo 17 site. That's and according to one of the legends, it went to the site where the Americans operated in 1972 uh, and were driving around in their self-propelled -propel carriage. It seems that the Luna Ho 2 was supposed to transmit to Earth an image of the equipment left by the astronauts and confirm that they really were there. Uh, Luna Ho 2 could have easily reached Apollo 17 site if it had not broken down. In 2010, enthusiasts spotted Luna Hot 2 on the moon. It was found in the images taken by the Lunar Reconnaissance, Reconnaissance Orbiter, LRO, automatic probe using the LROC camera. They showed both the Luna 21 station and the lunar rover itself, and the traces it left. Now, the location of the Luna Hot 1, which was considered missing for a long time, is also known. Nothing was known about its fate for almost 40 years. Researchers from the University of California, San Diego, led by physics professor Tom Murphy, found the Soviet apparatus using the same LRO probe, and having found it, they put an end to various mystical conjectures. Uh, there, were, there was talk that Luna Hot 1 was abducted by aliens who have a base on the moon. By the way, few people know, but Luna Hot 2 is no longer Russian. 
In December 1993, the S.A. Lavochkin Design Bureau's organization sold the Luna 21 station located on the moon and then the Luna Hood 2 attached to it at a South Southby's auction in New York for $68,500. That year was also the anniversary, the 25th anniversary of that event. From the diary of Alexander Tikhanovich Bazilevsky, Doctor of Geological and Mineralogical Sciences, Professor, Chief Researcher of the Laboratory of Comparative Planetology of the Vernadsky Institute of Geochemistry and Analytical Chemistry of the Russian Academy of Sciences, specialist in the field of geology of planetary and small bodies of the solar system, laureate of the USSR State Prizes and the Alexander von Humboldt Foundation Prize in Germany, participant of operational work with Luna Hod 1 and 2 at the control point in the Crimea, permanent author of Priroda magazine, or Nature in English, published in Priroda, what I'm telling you was published in Priroda number two uh, in 2021, or issue number two in the year of 2021. This is from his diary. Maneuvering in the crater with the lid of the solar battery open, Luna Hot 2 hooked, hooked it on the inner slope of the crater. Soil was poured onto its surface, which was immediately noticed from the ground control by reducing the charge current. At the end of the fourth lunar day, when the apparatus went into the night, the lid had to be closed, otherwise it could freeze at night, and the soil and it is wonderful heat insulator got on the radiator. On the next fifth lunar day, the radiator sprinkled with lunar soil, poorly radiated into space. On May 10, the lunar hood overheated and no longer contacted. How interesting. Uh, this is my comment that soil was poured onto its surface. Now, let's look at the American mission Apollo 17. December 7 to 19, 1972 was the 11th and final mission of NASA uh, Apollo's program. Apollo's program, the sixth and most recent time humans have set foot on the moon or travel beyond low Earth orbit. Commander Gene Cernan and lunar module pilot Harrison Schmidt uh, walked on the moon while command module pilot Ronald Evans orbited above. Schmidt was uh, the only professional geologist to land on the moon. He was selected in place of Joe Engel as NASA had been under pressure to send a scientist to the moon. The mission's heavy emphasis on science meant the inclusion of a number of new experiments, including a biological experiment containing five mice that was carried in the command module. Now let's look at what the military in Russia said. Luna Hot 2 was also found, and they found it from the American orbital reconnaissance satellite, which was launched last year in June. By the way, our water determination device is also on the moon. The satellite photographed both the landing sites of the Apollos and our Luna Hot 17 and our Luna Hot 1 and Luna Hot 2. Uh, they are only interested in the question of why Luna Hot 1 has a tight spot in the photo, has a light spot in the photo, and Luna Hot 2 has a black spot. But they forgot that we did not close the solar panel on Luna Hot 2. It was the day we left. That's why it stands with the solar panel open, but it also looks east. Vyacheslav Georgievich Davgan, academician of the Russian Academy of Cosmonautics or Space Science, Professor Major General. So there you have it. I'm very much interested um, if there are any other photographs that we may not be privy to as to what was actually observed on the moon. Like I said, the first photograph, I, I have no I have no confirmation that it's real. And the second one, I hope it's real. And it, the object was sighted by Luna Hot 2. 
Um, I had other interesting research years ago that I published about the alleged pilots of the lunar hordes. And it's in my book uh, about mysteries of Eurasia. And maybe one day I'll get to it too. The more we study about moon exploration by the Soviets and the Americans and now the Chinese, the more we learn, I think the less we know. Because there are aspects to the research of the moon, the body we, we really don't understand completely, even its age, and I'll get to it in my other videos, the more questions we have. But it's human nature to ask questions. So if you like my research and you can help me, please do so through the links you will find in the description to this uh, video. Please like my channel. Please tell others about it. Thank you for your attention to my work. And I'll bring you more interesting stories about our solar system and our attempts to explore it.